Donahue. It's on TV London, weekday mornings at 9. you made it to our Halloween party. It's going to be a magical musical show. And let's start the party with my favorite magical little song, okay? A long time ago, when the earth was green, and there was more kinds of animals than you've ever seen. They'd run around free when the earth was being born. And the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. And there was green. I've been helping UNICEF with their Halloween campaign. So tonight, let's dedicate the party to all those kids who go trick-or-treating with the wee orange boxes each Halloween. Hey, speaking of Halloween, do any of you kids know how Halloween actually started? Yeah! Let's go. I got some kids picked a night to dress up and scare each other. Yeah, and to get free candy. No, 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 no. No, I know. No, it, Halloween is a very, very old holiday that goes away back into the mists of time when people were very superstitious and believed in magic. Let's have everybody's hand up who would like to take a magical journey Yay! with me back to long ago Ireland and we'll discover where Halloween started. Wow, it's great. There will be spooks and goblins and ghosts and horrible monsters. How will we get there? Pardon? How will we get there? Well, you may not know by looking at me, but I happen to be a wonderful magician. Prove it. Prove it? Yeah, prove it. Yeah, prove it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to prove it? Yeah. Well, all right then. Excuse me? The dove into glove, I mean the glove into dove trick. Oh, well. <laughs> I have here my magical tin whistle. 
And also, my magical, magical hat. I can tell by looking inside this hat, there is nothing in it. You can tell, too, by looking. There's nothing in it. There's nothing. There's nothing. Oh, my. Oh, that was my glove that fell out of it. There is nothing in this hat. You can tell by looking at it. There's nothing in this hat. It's... Okay, hold it. Hold I will now say my magical words, skinny me link me long legs, and I will... Pro yeah? I will produce from this hat a beautiful, delightful, fluffy, bouncing baby bunny. <laughs> Let's see. Skinny me link me long legs. Whoop! <sighs> Would you believe a dead chicken? Well, never mind. I need a couple of volunteers. What's your name? Aura. Aura, and what's your name? Kimo. You are perfect volunteers. Me? No way. You do believe in magic, don't you? Yeah. Well, come on then. I'm not come so on. Sure. Yeah, you're sure. It'll be wonderful. Where's your sense of adventure? Well, I don't want to miss trick or treat. Yeah, and I don't want to miss the Halloween party. Oh. Don't worry. With my magic mirror, we won't be long. Because as soon as I play this whistle, we are going to walk right through that magic mirror. Where are we going? We're going to take a trip back to a beautiful sunny hillside in long ago Ireland. You don't look very happy about it. You do believe in magic, don't you? You believe in magic? It'll be fun. Yeah. Sure you do. Get ready. Guess who? Phew, it's 
It's only Will. Yeah, I told you so. Didn't I? <laughs> I fooled you. <laughs> you weren't really afraid, were you? Me, Carter. Uh, we knew it was you all the time. Mm -hmm. Will, what are those noises? Isn't it time we went home? You guys are real chicken, aren't you? <laughs> you know, I have to admit, it's not exactly a sunny hillside, but you've got to admit that it is kind of like Halloween. You know, my grandfather, when I was a wee boy, he used to tell me about Halloween in long ago, Ireland. On that night, all these horrible creatures who used to live in the mountains and in caves and things, goblins and trolls, they used to come out and scare the poor townspeople who were very, very superstitious. All these people had saved their food for the hard winters, and these goblins and trolls would come out yelling trick or treat and steal all their food. But the people learned a great trick. They used to take their tin whistles and flutes, and they knew this very magical old tune called the King of the Fairies, and whenever they played that, these horrible creatures would have to come out into the open and start to dance, and then the people could capture them. But you know, it's probably just an old wives' tale. Here's the way the whole tune went. I'll play it for you. Flavor breakfast crystals with vitamin C. Not the tang you had before, but a new tang with a taste kids prefer. In fact, taste tests prove that kids prefer new tang to frozen orange juice. Hey, where's Marty? And Marty proves that some kids would prefer to keep it to themselves. In just five minutes, and a dash of ice, do something new to let it rise. Goodness, no! Anything goes! Try serving tomato rice with your favorite fish Or add onion soup if it's lamb you wish Super celery rice feels the perfect twist With chicken and green beans Use your own imagination to whip up a new creation Minute rice, no! I'm back! Anything goes! In a room, they know how to finish a splendid meal Magnifico! Good, isn't it? Introducing almond-flavored amaretto, a new flavored instant coffee beverage mix from General Foods International Coffee. Rome, 
candlelight, music. And you. You have the most wonderful imagination. Something special for the wee hours. New almond flavored amaretto from General Foods International Coffee. and I'll come back and get you a wee bit later, okay? All right. And now, burning torches. My pleasure to present the magnificent, mystifying magic of the great Harry Blackstone. Thank you. Well, here's something, boys and girls, that you may not have seen before, but if not, watch carefully. You see, it's designed to fool you. It has to do with this bird in a cage, a canary. And while you're watching, this canary will disappear right from the tips of my fingers, and you'll not see where it goes. <laughs> I hope. Hup! And just that quickly, it disappears. How about that? You like that? Oh, I heard that. Did you hear what the young man over there just said? He said, up your sleeve. Come over here a minute. Up my sleeve, indeed. You check the sleeves all the way up. All the way? That's fine. The other one, too. Come over here, young lady. And you look underneath my coat and tell me what you can find. Nothing there? Perhaps you'd like to come over here, too. You come up here and check it. Just there. Check it all. The side, the front, the back, anywhere. Not there? Look around the other side. You see, what we're going to do is this. I'm going to do this again with another cage and another canary. And this time, it'll disappear while you're holding it. Would you put one of your hands on the front of the cage? You put your hand on the bottom of the cage, yours on the side of the cage. Do you have a hand you're not using? Bring it over here. Your hand on the end of your arm. Bring it over. Sure, come on. And put your hand up there as well. That's fine. And your other hand on the other side. And yours right up here on the top of the cage. And yours on the bottom of the cage. And you have a hand over there. Put it up here, right there on the back of the cage. You come over here next to me. That's in. Push in like you would at home. That when you put, you know, switch hands, you won't be all out of shape then. Hup! And just like that, it disappears while you're holding it. How about that? <laughs> you know, boys and girls, this is a very special time of the year. It's a time when spirits and spooks and goblins are in the land. In fact, I have here my friendly spirit. It's just a pocket handkerchief. And the question is, when is a knot not a knot? And the answer, 
<laughs> well, who cares? You know, I'm going to now change this into a spirit, a spook, a goblin. In fact, a spirit with muscles. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Killed it. You know, when you kill a spirit, the first thing you've got to want... <laughs> and now watch a little dancing. Of right back to the young man right over here. You can have this as a souvenir of our magical Halloween time together. Thank you. you blow amazing no stick bubbles that won't stick to your face stick to laughing hyena <laughs> big bubbles no troubles <laughs> it's on tv london you told janice it cost him a hundred thousand plus the marker and that's for you sonny you go back to the Okie Finokies and the alligators. You're not ready for the big time. I deal with Janice or I don't deal. It's on TV, it's on TV, it's on TV. Don't just think about it. Do it, do it, do it. I do it with a friend and you both can bend. Do it for your muscles, it'll make them hustle. I do it for your feet, it's kind of neat. I do it with some action, participation. Don't just think about it. Do it, do it, do it. Participation. Get with the action. Do it, do it, do it. It's on TV London. 
people who could pull off a trick like that. Which one was Megan? Hardly begin to know how to describe her. The short one with the big rack? I learned that from Murphy. Why didn't you ever hear me say the short yes. one with the... Short one with the big rack. It's on TV, it's on TV, it's on TV. Landed. Where's that music coming from? Wow, hello. Hello. My name is Will. What's your name? My name is Mary. Can you tell me? I'm kind of confused. Can you tell me where this place is? Oh, please, yeah, in Jumbi the singing is wonderful. It makes me so happy. I've always known a little African song, and, and it would be kind of great if you'd let me sing. Maybe I could sing it with the kids. You can sing with them. Wow. Can I borrow the guitar? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to give me the guitar. Wow. Thank you. You play better than me, but I'll give it a try. Okay. All right. Should we? Let me see. Um, are you laughing at me? <laughs> Kumbaya. 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 traveled hundreds of thousands of miles all over the world. And if there's one thing that really touches me, no matter where I go, is the children. Just look at those wee faces. Would you believe that more than half of Kenya's population is under 14? In some of the countries where UNICEF works, four out of five children have no health care. They don't have clean water and no hope of a decent education. Many have no homes and must sleep in the streets. Well, it's a hard life for most of the world's children, but you know, it doesn't have to be. My dream is to see all the children in the world smile like these ones. Let everyone clap hands like me. Let everyone clap hands like me. Come on and join into the game. You'll find that it's always the same. Let everyone whistle like me.
here at school? No. They eat one, only one meal a day. During lunchtime, they don't go anywhere. They stay around. Mary, I've been hearing that this school may have hard times, but there are some schools near Nairobi where the children have a really hard time. I would like to go and visit one of them. I am very interested to see a school like that. Oh, there is one in town called Kumwani Primary School, down in town. And do you think if I went down there, they would make me welcome? I suppose so. As welcome as you made me? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. of the developing countries that UNICEF works in, one of the big problems are the children of the streets, children who have no father and who consequently have no schools to go to, children who would never go to a school if it wasn't for people like the priest here in Kenya, Father Grohl, who has organized a school where the children can come, they don't have to wear uniforms, and they can learn trades and they can learn to get into society. I've had here in Kenya. It's been great seeing what UNICEF does over here. But I'm really sorry my two friends missed it. I wonder where those two are. I've no fear the leprechauns are here. Hi! I'm not talking about you guys. How did you get here? Hey, mister, we're leprechauns. Mm -hmm. We can do anything and we yeah. know everything. Yeah. And we know where to find Aura and the chemo. Oh, and oh, we'll no. do it by uh, um, uh, 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 magic, well. I know. I'm afraid my magic can't get me out of here, and I better get on with the show. Maybe you guys will help me go back, okay? The magic word? The magic word. Ah -ha! He forgot the magic word! <laughs> and because we're such good guys, we're going to tell you the magic word. Yep. It's a uh, Mally Slap my metric. Nope. Uh, Mally Slap my crack ring. No, no! Oh, uh, come here, Twerby. Rabble again, the mando. No! Mally Slap my gut ring. CBC Television. Sunday nights at 8.30, don't miss Bay City Blues. Look at me, Ray. Am I arguing with you? Just because you're slapping the whole team in the face. Oh, come on. To say Give nothing me. about the town, hey, it ought to do miracles for hey. Bluebird stuff. Hey, there. hey! I had a paid attendance tonight of 546, 62 kids free. Never mind the little suckers nicked me for a dozen and a half balls.
Join the conversation, all right? That's Bay City Blues, Monday nights at 8.30 here on TV London. And now it's Zap, the safety bird. Uh-oh, climbing hydro towers is a dangerous game. You could fall down or get too close to these wires and it could be game over. Watch this. Kitty's up a hydro pole. Don't you climb a pole even to rescue a cat. He'll get down by himself. These are live wires, and only turkeys touch live wires. And you know what happens to turkeys. Find out who's changing on Three's Company, Tuesday nights at 9. This will make you feel better. I feel better already. <laughs> Aren't you ever going to change? I think I just did. Don't miss Three's Company, Tuesday nights at 9, here on TV London. This electrical panel meets the requirements of a safety standard. Fortunately, most of the things we use are built to standards. Mommy, I think there's something wrong with the toaster. For any information about standards, contact the Standards Council of Canada, 350 Sparks, Ottawa. Nakimo, by the time we get back, the games will be over, and they'll be taking down the decorations. I know, and they'll say, sorry, no more treats, they're all gone. Yeah, and I don't want to miss the costume contest. No candy bars, jelly beans, bubble gum, candy oh, apples. where's Will, anyway? Oh, what was that? Hello. Whoa. You. Not half as glad as I am to see you. Well, where have you been? Aura, if I told you, you'd never believe me. Well, how did you get here? Same way as you did. By the way, did you guys by any chance see three, three, three little tiny, three leprechauns? Leprechauns? Mm -hmm. Did he land on his head? Are you feeling okay? Did you say? Leprechauns, listen. Listen, do you want to hear something? Come here. Follow me. Quiet. Shh. Wow. It's so beautiful. A tiny village made of mushrooms. Unbelievable. Such little doors and windows. Yeah, they remind me of my old dog. Aura, look over there at those chimneys. Smoke's actually coming out of them. That must mean somebody's living in them. You're right. But who will? Would you believe if I told you there were leprechauns living in there? No way. You've got to be kidding. I'm not. Have a look at the bottom of that tree trunk. Leprechauns. I don't believe it. I must be seeing things. They are leprechauns. <laughs> Oh, get oh, with me. Oh, 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 oh. If you two oh. don't stop your fighting, there will be no bedtime story tonight. So no. what? We've heard them all before. Why don't you tell us something new for a change? That's right, Captain. Yeah. I, have, I haven't got any new ones. Well, then don't oh, fuck us with that old guy. Oh, there oh. will be no milk ah. nor cookies. Milk or cookies? Ha! That's not good enough for a big, substantial lad like me. <laughs> Especially <laughs> after a long, hot, dusty trip to Africa. Mm -hmm. No, nothing at all are you getting to eat. Not a thing. <laughs> Where did you get that? Squeak! Now, that's what I call a nice little snack. Give me it. Oh, no, you don't know. <laughs> Yeah. You're nothing but a greedy, greedy, greedy boy. I'm yes. loving it. 
that. You are, and that will give you nightmares yep. and a tummy ache. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope you're finished. T -t -t -t. Not quite. I happen to have here ah. a little desserty. <laughs> Perhaps I could partake of a skinsy wincy bit of your donut. Twerp, <laughs> you're not going to get a skinsy wincy twincy bit of this donut. Oh. I intend to yes. give you the whole of this donut. Oh, bun! Uh, Let uh, me uh, have it! Wait a minute, wait a minute! I said I was going to give you the whole of this donut. Oh. I'm having the other part. Oh, no, you're oh, not! <laughs> oh, what a... <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, they've seen us. Oh? Don't be frightened, little fellas. It's only us. We were hoping that you could help us find our way home. Why do you want to go home? Because Halloween's almost over. And it only comes once a year. What's Halloween? <laughs> What's Halloween? <laughs> Listen. If I sing a song about Halloween and tell you a story about it, will you help us find our way home then, please? A new story? One that even Willie doesn't know! Ha <laughs> ha! You got a deal, mister. Mm -hmm. You sing that little yep. Halloween song, uh -huh. and me and the guys here will help yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's do it! <laughs> and you two oh. be quiet, okay? I hope you won't be too afraid, but this is about the most scary song I've ever written. Did you ever read a really scary story When you were snuggled in your little bed When the thunder and the lightning made your little room so frightening You really saw a ghost without a head <laughs> There's things that hide and wait for little people Things that only come out in the night When you are all alone and the light's out in your home It's then you'll see some very spooky sights <laughs> Scary, scary boogie men bumping in the night. If you think that we're afraid, ha, 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 When you are in a frightful situation and the ghostly darkness leaves you feeling weak, just ignore those awful creatures. Let a brave smile brush your features. Then let out one really frightened shriek. <laughs> I'll not forget that dream I had one evening. I'd eaten lots of sweets at Halloween. There was a huge and heavy beast with a skull with smiling teeth. Those horrors really make you want to one, two, three, four. Scary, ah! scary boogeyman bumping in the night. If you think that we're afraid, ha, 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 Well, that's my song. Now we'd like to go home, please. You mean you want to go back to that? To those horrible, grisly, ghostly, gory monsters? Oh, yes, yeah, please. So what do we have to do? You promised. We'll be honest with you, we're not too sure it's going to work. But if you're prepared to take a chance, do you all really believe in magic? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, where did I hear this before? Yes, we all believe. Oh, well, that's good. But there's just one wee problem. Yes. We have to fly them through that door. Well, to do that, we're going to have to turn them into the same size as leprechauns. <laughs> hey, come back here, you chickens. Well, I don't think I'd like that. There's got to be an easier way of getting home. I'm frightened. I thought you two believed in magic. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but... Don't you want to go home? He's right, Aura. And I'm sure the leprechauns know what they're doing. I hope you're right. Believe me, it'll work. All we gotta do is say the magic word. Do you know the magic word, Bun? Are you all ready? You're yeah, yeah, we're ready. ready. Wally took my scrutiny. <laughs> no, no, it's like... went to Mugri. <laughs> Close. Rally slapped belly on tripling. You haven't. But you can... What? But no. <laughs> no, no. Watch this. What? Polly slap McGuttrick!
This is a golden moment. The perfect moment for new Maxwell House Gold ground coffee. And the marvelous taste that makes any time a special time. Try it. Indulge yourself in a golden moment with Maxwell House. Apple, cherry, berry pie, and coconut cream, extraordinary vanilla, lemon butterscotch, pudge, and chocolate mousse, so light and airy, new Cool Whip has a fresh new taste, there's nothing you must whip or make straight from the fridge, it tastes as great, and makes desserts look beautiful, it makes desserts look beautiful, they said it has a fresh new taste for anything you buy or make, with very little time it takes to make desserts taste beautiful, new fresher tasting Cool Whip whip topping brings you beautiful desserts in a snack. The guys at Mrs. Bingham's boarding house liked everything but her chicken. Something new tonight, boys. I hope you like it. It's definitely chicken. Where's the grease, Bob? Don't know, Bob. She must have hired a cook. Hey. Try it. What Mrs. Bingham had discovered was new, crispier, tastier shake and bake. Well, beauty. Good. New, crispier shake and bake. Simple, never tasted better. To strive for something and to master it is a rare and special pleasure. Nice jump, Ricardo. Thank you. And to master the art of good taste in coffee, ah, uh, that, my friends, is rare indeed. But it has been done. Because now good taste is master roasted by the masters of good taste, Maxwell House. Ah, uh, Maxwell House ground coffee. Always good to the last drop. Sandra, this is Aura and Nakimo. How do you do, Aura and Nakima? <sighs> what do you look like you're having a great time here? Yeah. We're just about to have a sing-along. How about joining us? Okay, I'll get my guitar. <laughs>
not other fancy stuff. Everybody sing it. Up. The magic Time. I'm actually sorry that it's over. Over? It's not over yet. I haven't got to do any magic yet. Magic? No more magic, please. Well, okay. What if I give you a surprise instead? Well, all right, a surprise. I like surprises. Okay, all you have to do is turn around and close your eyes. And you come here. I'd like you to know that while Willie was away, the people at UNICEF made him the first recipient of the Danny Kay Award for people who do really good things for UNICEF, like Willie did for the children in Ireland when he made that special. And so UNICEF recognized this, and they gave him this award. And I would like to give it to Will right now. Willie, you can turn around. And congratulations on being awarded the Danny Kay Award. Wow. It's beautiful. Listen, you know something? I really am sorry I wasn't there when Danny Kay presented this to you. I really wanted to be there because I heard about it through the grapevine, through the magic. Uh, it's a beautiful thing, and you know, I can't really say much about it because the Rovers and myself have worked for the last two years singing around Canada with all the kids and encouraging kids at Halloween to put money in little boxes. To me, that's not very much because I love working with children. I've, I've always enjoyed it, as you know, and I'm sure there's an awful lot of other people who work for UNICEF, many, many volunteers all over the country who do a lot more work than I do, and I think I would like to share this with all of them. But nevertheless, I love it. I'm going to hang it on my wall. Thank you very much, Lisa. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the tricks and treats at our Halloween party. Watch out for all those little witches and goblins. And happy haunting, kids. Hey, Will. Uh -huh. Hey, Will, you forgot something. Oh, I sure did. Where's those boxes? Here we go. Everybody sing the song. He's got the horn.
does. Wear a light-colored costume short enough so you don't trip. If you wear a mask, make sure you can see. Makeup's better. Don't crisscross the street. Call on one side, then the other. Parents, set boundaries, and it's time to be home. Carry a flashlight for extra safety. And let's all have a safe Halloween. Thirty minutes from now, Monty Hall invites contestants to choose the correct punchline offered by funny folks like Fred.